so our hands are well formed at this moment in time. We're doing the Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale. Again, that's from Dogfish Head. Um, they are out of uh, Delaware, Milton, Delaware. This is a full body brown ale brewed with real pumpkins, brown sugar, allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So, there you go, it is 7% ABV. The 12 packs, uh, the 12 fluid ounces, I should say, and they come in uh, four packs and they are limited release, although I found it in June, so that's pretty uh, special treat right here. Um, How much did it cost for the bottle before that? I think it, I don't know precisely, it was definitely between $13 and $14. Oh, I'll have the okay. amount of cents and change. How many beers? Four. Wow. Four beers. All right, so when we poured the beer, it had, it had a, um, it had a nice uh, two fingers worth of, of a pretty frothy head. It's died down to just a nice little uh, rim around the glass with a little bit of lacing. Um, it had a lot of uh, rocky bubbles, but it's sort of subdued at that point in time. Um, now the body of the beer in the color is definitely copper. It sort of has that pumpkin look to it, that pumpkin orange color. It's very carbonated. And that's what I'm going to say about that. So, the smell on that beer, the smell on that beer is very allspice. It's, it's got the um, allspice and cinnamon and nutmeg, and I guess the brown sugar is giving it that sweet smell. It's have a hint of nutmeg to it when you do smell it. Yeah. It definitely has more, it definitely has a underlining sweetness, but that sweetness in the nose doesn't, doesn't overpower anything in that beer. So, it's got the pumpkin pie spices with the underlining sweetness. I think out of all the, out of all the spicy like, ingredients, you can get a, a really good sort of head of the in and out of all of that. Absolutely. So, without further ado, let's try a sip of the garbage and pumpkin uh, ale. Let's try it right now. Back <laughs> <You're> double fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first thing that you really get, even before that you detect the flavor of the beer, is it's very, very dry. Not unlike, not unlike a double IPA, but it's... It, it definitely keep, tastes the dryness. It keeps you, it, it keeps you, it keeps your mouth dry, which a little bit more, which which gets you more interested in trying the beer. I'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, and discovering its flavors. And the flavors are, as the bottle would say, here are very allspice, cinnamon. But the nutmeg to me is the main flavor of the allspice. Right. The cinnamon isn't really too heavy. There is an over, there is an underlining sweetness. If there was a taste that you take away from this, is the fact that it's dry and there's definitely a taste of nutmeg with it. And it doesn't have a bad aftertaste either. It doesn't have a bad aftertaste. Yeah. And it makes you want to have another sip. Yeah. Yeah. Going, I want to finish this. Glass. Into yeah. going into. I have to finish this. Glass. <laughs> it's yours. In going to the to the finish, as these guys are talking about, the the body of the beer, the mouthfeel is medium towards full body that's the bottle says but it's definitely it's definitely medium uh, it's got a little bit of a watery feel but it is a very medium feel to the beer um, it's very dry it's it's crisp it's very clean I don't know if this is a quite such a uh, refreshing beer that I want like a I nice hot it. day when the fall when the when the when the summer is turning into fall but I wouldn't call it refreshing it's very crisp from the carbonation. Yeah, I would say that. It's very clean taste. It doesn't have any sort of funky off right. sour flavors. Um, but that's sort of the assessment of the beer. It, it definitely says, like it says in the bottle, it's got the, the allspice in it and the nutmeg. The cinnamon plays with the brown sugar to give you that that underlining kind of sweetness. I don't think at 7% you can tell that alcohol is even in there. I would say this kind of beer would be really good for like special occasions. Absolutely. By the way, who you're talking to right now is Maze Matthews from Maze Matthews of Metal Web Vision. You're talking to Steve and Neil from Gamora. I will be talking to Eric from In the description bar below will be a um, link to the Metal Maze uh, page. Thank you. And to get right down to the brass tacks of the ratings out of one to five, including by a fourth of a point rating scale, I would definitely give this beer a three point five. It's something that I wouldn't uh, pass up, but I don't know if I would really 
you know, want to seek out this beer again, but it's definitely a very good um, pumpkin ale and one that would be good for people that maybe are sure that they're the average beers. Night, the average person will drink probably about six or seven beers. I would probably drink two or three of these and be perfectly happy. Uh, what would you, would you uh, I would drink these if they were available to me. Um, I probably wouldn't pay uh, $17 to $14 for all theirs, mm -hmm. but I would drink it with your I gave it a four. I love you guys! I, I had a whole bottle of it tonight, and I would give it a 3.5, and like I said, um, because of like the cost, I would say that I would, it would be like kind of like a special occasion kind of beer that I want to get a little more pricey thing to, uh, to drink. So, so we basically are going to um, average out our thoughts on the beer being a 3.5 out of 5 for the Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale. Cheers. Happy early Halloween to you all watching on our channel in the summertime. And until next time, keep tasting those great beers. Cheers from over the border in Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Keep it up, guys.